Hello, friends. Welcome to the F Society IRC podcast, a Mr. Robot review show. I'm your host, Heroja Shai. So this is my live reaction of episode 408, requested timeout. Uh, this is Heroja Shai, your moderator of the F Society IRC podcast. And friends, this this was a cleanup episode. I wouldn't say quite filler because it did move the plot along. It did answer a few questions, but it seemed to be like a bit of a delay tactic from what's going on. Uh, again, we're still on Christmas Day. Uh, we're at Christmas night, if you will. Uh, Nine o'clock is the meeting for the Dexas group. Um, <clears throat> So I do know, like, I was thinking about television programs mostly um, that have stretched out like a single day or a, a bit of period of time. And the only thing I could think of was like soap operas do this all the time where you pick your soap opera and you're in the same like day or whatever. And it's like you're watching your soap opera for like a month and you're like within that same day. Like there's a wedding and it takes place all in a month. Uh, how you met your mother took place all on the you know Robin and um, Barney's wedding day uh, that last season. Uh, who else was on this? Uh, the other one was Dragon Ball Z, were or anime in gen general, but Dragon Ball Z were the first big huge fight with Frieza and going to that planet and then fighting that planet like it took like forever. So yeah, when they were going to the planet to go battle Frieza and then battling Frieza it was like this very short window like almost same day period of time even though it was like I don't know 40 freaking episodes or something like that so here we have another episode 408 it looks like 409 from the preview are going to take place again on Christmas Day uh, that leaves 410, 411, 12, 13. I don't know if all four of those episodes, the remaining, are going to take place on Christmas Day, but that would be pretty amazing if they did that. Um, <clears throat> I will put 407 up. It's just a very difficult episode to review. I had to do some structuring and thinking about it, but it, it will come out. But back to 408. So... We had like kind of a meanwhile moment. I'm gonna go with the Dom and Darlene, where Darlene's tied up, so is Dom. Janice is like, okay, girls, looks like you were telling the truth about the phone, so we're gonna have to use these alternative methods to get what I want. And Janice is like basically testing these two to see, you know, the nature of the relationship, but um, to see how much pain she can inflict before Darlene breaks. Uh, she stabs Dom in like the chest area to where her lungs are collapsing. She's on the floor. Darlene's still not giving an Elliot up. So she threatens um, Dom's family, uh, calling it in and saying, you know, we're gonna check on your, your mom. I'm gonna have someone just cut her from head to stern. It's, you know, four kids, you know, eight adults plus plus mom, so that's 13 people. And that finally got Darlene to, to break up. She's gonna restore her phone, have them find um, Elliot. They check that signal. Dom still has a, that knife in her chest. She can't have it taken out or she's bleeding out. You've seen her bleeding, slowly bleeding out here. Uh, they use Darlene's signal app and um, <clears throat> they find Elliot's phone or at least the location, last location is phone, which is Krista's place. The body was taken out. Dark Army guy's there. Is not Elliot. They don't know who it is. They don't know where Elliot is. Janice is not happy. She says, you told me where, you know, um, Elliot's phone's at, not where Elliot's at. Darlene's like, I don't know. My brother doesn't tell me anything, which is true. Dom is saying, you need to listen to her, you know. I know when she's lying, she's not lying. She can't help you. Some of Don kept saying she can't help you, she can't help you. And then one of the badass moments, like I've been waiting for Don just to like kill Janice. And I think the plan all along was, and I think I mentioned like, I thought it would be difficult for the Irishman to take her family because they're very large. Uh, but 
as soon as she was going to Dar Darlene's place, I think the plan, whatever she had set up previous with the, the Irishman, was to get her family out that day. Uh, which the Irishman did. He killed Dark Army people, put them in the van, his family in the van, take them to the safe house. We find this from the phone call with Janice. Ugh, and then down Pearl. <laughs> she, she like, is this kind of like Rambo hero stuff? Like just ah, pulling the knife out and then killing everybody in the room, but Dom's that bitch. She is. She just is. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's kind of movie -ish. Maybe Dex and Maka, I don't know, but I was very satisfied. So Darlene's able to escape Dom. We see her. She called it in. She's dying. Who knows if she's dead? I do have to say this. They really teased hard the whole there's a plane theory about Dom and Darlene dying in a plane. You saw from a window shot a plane go by. You had Janice saying some like plane metaphors like blue skies and a, a couple other things like they really like they were just mm, with the fans they were just messing with us so that was you know given the whew, headiness of 407 this was a fairly light episode for the most part um with elliot and krista we're dealing with the fallout of the revelation of what happened in 407 Veer's dead. Pour one out for the homie. Um, <laughs> it was very funny when uh, Peanut, and I, I will try to remember the, the other character's name. I think Javier is his name, but the, they come up and find Veer. <laughs> I mean, the game is the game. Uh, the, she's like, take his wallet. I I'm, I'm, I'm sure, wouldn't be surprised if they took his coat, his phone, the gun, everything but the knife in his back and bounce with the car and gone um but the game is the game um you know Krista was able to take elliot through a side exit the fire exit and into a taxi go to the police station they had their their goodbye she knows not to take elliot into the police station it's going to be not only extra traumatic but she heard what was going on with the hack and just the stuff going on with Elliot, like the extracurricular criminal stuff, it is not going to be good for him. And she kind of let him go. But she's going into that police station to say, you know, <laughs> stab this dude. Don't know what the police story is going to be, but she's going to do, because she's, she's a good citizen. So, so far, Krista has made it. Okay? Krista has made it. Survived Elliot. All right? Um, let's hope. That stays true to the end of the season. Uh, the rest of the fallout of, of Elliot was him coming to the understanding that he did fight back um, and reconciling with that. Mr. Robot does reappear. They have a conversation. I'll get to that more in the complete 408 review. Um, Elliot has finished up um, setting up for the hack. They only have an hour. He basically said Darlene has everything set. It looks like um, it looks like the address, the coin coin address. I'm gonna have to rewatch it. it. Looks like they have a Bitcoin address up there, but I'm not sure about the eCoin format if they're using the same thing. But it looked like a Bitcoin address was up there. I'm gonna see if I can um, look at it and see maybe that's actually something on the blockchain that particular address. Um, <clears throat> But it looks like they're going to go down with a hack. There was no price. We did see Tyra Wellick in the taxi car talking to us. So that's another appearance by Tyra Wellick, even though we haven't seen his body. Um, kind of just like a spirit haunting Elliot. You know, it was the bus sign uh, when they were doing the heist. And now, like, talking to to the peoples about, you know, e-coin, I believe. Uh, in the taxi cab. Um, overall, I really enjoyed this episode. We got a mention of Angela, but as Angela was a kid, um, we saw another personality, Elliot, as a child. Uh, yeah, so for the most part, you know, I think what relieved me from what happened last episode was Dom just being a badass. 
and I guess we'll see as more revelations occur um, with uh, from the preview of the meeting whether this actual full full heist the complete heist happens <sighs> but uh, yeah so no Leon again um, price not here white rose not here um, I suppose mostly just wrapping up Elliot and basically Darlene and Dom and, and moving them forward to to the to the nine o'clock meeting uh, but overall like I said I enjoyed this episode uh, the preview for the, the review for 407 will come out uh, and then I'm gonna try to cleanse my palate with um, a theory episode I haven't really done one for this season uh, for 407, there will be a trigger warning. There will also be information in the show notes. But uh, I'm going to break it up in two parts. Like the first part, I'm going to have a timestamp. But the first part will be just kind of like the, the mechanics of the episode. Talking about, you know, plays and the actors and the formatting and just the color grade and stuff like that. A part of the episode. And then we'll... We'll cover the other part that happened that, during that episode. But uh, this is Rosa Scheib. Uh, this is F Society RC Podcast, the Mr. Robot Review Show. I am closing this channel, logging off for now, and uh, till next time, friends.